Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the revised GRE, the second edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today we'll continue the topic that we've been doing for the last few days. The top that is the topic of weighted average. Weighted average, a very simple, straightforward problem, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it, shall we? Here the answer choice is 11 and 3 8, 11 and 2 third, 11 and 3 quarter, 11, 12 and 3 8, 12 and 3 quarter. Here's what's going on. We're going to ship, we're going to ship 12 parcels. 12 parcels were shipped, we are told. We are told that the four parcels, four of the parcels, four parcels with four parcels with the average weight of 10 and a half kilos. Four of those parcels weighed on average 10 and a half kilos. And eight parcels with the average weight of 12 and one quarter kilo, kilogram that is, were shipped. Question simply is what's the overall average? What's the average weight of the 12 parcels? Let's do it together, shall we? As you can see, we have to do the weighted average because the weights are different. We have four and eight. We cannot simply take the simple average of 10 and a half and 12 and a quarter. But before we begin our work, before we begin our work, let's take a brief look at the answer choice to see if there are any insane answers, answers that are simply nonsensical. Answers that are simply nonsensical. As you can see, as we talked about in the concept of weighted average yesterday and day before yesterday and day before that, we talked about that if we have two or more groups, if you have two or three or four or five groups, the overall average, when you want to combine all of those groups and we have the average average of one group, average of another group, average of the third group and so forth. When you combine all of those groups together, the overall average, one more time, the overall average can never ever be lower than the lowest average of a given group. A group with the lowest average, the overall average can never be lower than the lowest average. An overall average can never ever be higher than the highest average of all the groups. Here, as you can see, we have eight packages which are on average weigh which which on average weigh twelve and a twelve and a quarter kilos. If they weigh twelve and a quarter kilos and those are only ten and a half kilos, the overall average cannot be more than twelve and a quarter. This is nonsensical. This is just pure nonsense pure nonsense to think that the overall average can be twelve and three quarters. Overall average also cannot be twelve and three eight. The answer has to be one of these three answer choices. Let's do the work, shall we? Let's do the work enough of the talk. So we have four of ten and a half, four of ten and a half, and eight of twelve and a quarter. Remember it. Four, four of ten and a half, four of ten and a half. So let's find out what is that amount. Four times ten and a half. Well, it's very straightforward. It's very straightforward. Four times ten, of course, is forty. And four halves are two. Four halves are two. It is forty-two. Let's do the next one. We have eight packages whose average weight was twelve and one quarter. Twelve and one quarter. Again, eight times ten is eighty. Eight times ten is eighty. Eight times two is sixteen. And eight quarters are two again. 8 quarters are 2. It's 80, 90, 98. It turns out it's 98. What do you know? 98 and 42. 98 and 42. 98 and 42. If you add them up, you get 10. Carry 1. We get 15. Uh, we get 10 plus 4 is 140. We get 140. And how many packages did we ship? We shipped a total of 12 packages. This is the total weight, 140 kilos. We must divide the 140 kilos by the number of packages, which is 12, which we're going to do it here. 140 divided by 12, well 14 has 112, 14 has 112, after we take away 12 from the 14, we have a remainder of 2. That 2 goes and joins the 0, becomes 20, and 20 has how many 12s? 20 has 112, 20 has 112, after we take away 12 from the 20, we have a remainder of 8, we have a remainder of 8, and that 8 must be divided by 12. The answer is the overall average of the 12 packages is 18 and 8 12 kilos. But of course we cannot leave this in this form, we have to reduce it. 
which is boils down to not 18 rather 11 11 and 8 twelfth of a kilo when we reduce it 8 twelfth is simply 2 third 2 third voila answer twice is B answer is B see you tomorrow okay I know.